Right, I'm here with Ant, who's Soul Sailor on Twitter, and he's one of the people who's been running a session this morning at a local Gov Camp. So, Ant, what was your session about, and how did it go? It was a really good session. Um, the session was about innovation games, which is based on a book by a guy called Luke Hoffman over in the States. But uh, I wanted to look at how that sort of, uh, I, I guess, approach to facilitation within local government could you know, be better than the old style of analysis and sort of making lots of assumptions. Um, so that's kind of how I started out the session. Um, and very quickly, as I was going through that, the whole room filled up and we ended up with uh, far too many people, or far, not, it was great to have lots of people, lots and lots of people in there. And we ended up talking about, about a mix of things really. So we talked about facilitation and getting people's opinions and inclusivity using innovation games. And that was really good. We also talked about gamification, playing games, game mechanics. So we managed to cover a whole breadth of uh, game-like topics uh, within, well, we overran a bit, so probably about an hour that we had. And there's some, a, lot of, a lot of good views and a lot of uh, people, I think, see the value in, in uh, using innovation games for facilitation um, within local government, but also maybe opening that out to uh, engaging with citizens as well. And we talked about the pros and cons about that. So lots of really interesting uh, opinions. I think everybody was uh, pretty uh, pretty excited about the uh, I think the opportunities around using innovation games, um, but could see that you know, depending on what you, the outcome that you were trying to achieve, there was a lot of, a lot of things to think about. So really exciting, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to carry on the, the conversation outside of today and uh, see where that goes, and actually maybe get some case studies. So next local gov camp actually maybe. You see uh, some of the fruits of playing games uh, in local government and uh, and hopefully the benefits that it gives. Okay, that's, that's great. I mean, do you think there's an issue with acceptance of the sort of gaming strategies? I mean, do people just think it's, it's something a bit silly and uh, frivolous? Um, yeah, we definitely talked about that, and I think uh, I think there's two two ideas really. There's one for when you're using it internally within local government departments, uh, and I think the view there was that it's a lot more fun than a dull meeting. Mm -hmm. So there was likely to be a, an easier acceptance uh, and adoption of, of games within internally within local government. Mm -hmm. But then, yes, absolutely, when you sort of open that out to citizens, then yeah, actually they've got better things to do with their time than, than play games. So you have to get the game mechanics right. Um, you know, you could almost picture a big whiteboard out in you know a city, you know, in, in, you know, in the city square somewhere, or you know, on a village green, and asking people's opinions. You know, maybe people will walk past that and, and and fill that in, but you know, and play a game. But actually, you know, you have to pitch it right, which is where, some, to some extent, the gamification and sort of you know, badges and awards and, and rewards kind of comes into it. So I think for citizens, you've almost got that double edge. You, you can play some games, but you actually need to uh, add some gamification uh, and reward systems around that to really encourage people. And um, I guess one of the key things that came out of it was that you know you really need to um, you really need to people that participate in the games need to see what the purpose is and see that their participation and their input actually made a difference in the long run, which is easy internally because you kind of see that. Uh, but yeah, with the, with the citizens and public, then yeah, it's a lot harder to, to make sure that you see that their input has actually made a difference to a, a policy making decision or whatever it happens to be. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Cheers.